Hey guys, what's up? It's Dragon Little Rock A6, and today I will be reviewing this. Oh, it's upside down, I'm sorry. I'll be reviewing this. The Divine Viewer VR, which is basically a virtual reality headset for mobile phones. And to my, to my, uh, figure, I think this is the very first company to ever do a uh, virtual reality headset, universal, I mean, for more than just Samsung Galaxy phones. So, uh, anyways, this is the device outside the package, U360. Very nice, I mean, not that heavy. A um, couple key features. It's got the knobs here on the sides that you can use to zoom the thing out or in. It's got a little, a little rotating thing right here to rotate the uh, lenses out for people with wider eyes and in for people with, you know, more together eyes. Uh, also, they they, they uh, recommend and I recommend also only ha only using the unit for like 30 minutes because your phone will get hot. But I'm gonna warn you that right off the bat because it's working more. It's doing more, trying giving you the uh, 3D apps and stuff. So it's going it's gonna be working harder. So it's gonna get hot faster, but the people over at Divine Viewer thought of this, so if you go past the 30 minutes and your phone starts to get hot, you just take this panel off and it lets it lets it breathe, so it doesn't overheat too much. And it's put together by just magnet, which is really awesome. Um, it's got a very comfortable strap on it. It's got a back here, so if your head's too big, you can adjust it to where it's out more. I, I kept it on the default setting. I felt like it was more comfortable even for my big head. And it's got some really nice cushioning here for extended play. A little area for your nose. It's very comfortable. Very comfortable indeed. Um, people said that they seem daylight and stuff leak through these while you're playing with the unit or whatever. I would say that would probably only happen if you have a small phone and you're using this. Otherwise, I can't see it doing that because my Note 4 that I use on it, I don't get no light through that at all. That's, I mean, I've, I've had sun directly hitting this thing while I was using it at one time. So, it's not going to... I mean, if your phone's decent size, it's not going to show any sunlight or anything. Or daylight. But if your phone's small, of course you're going to see daylight because your phone's small. So, this is a very, very, um, usually it goes for like a hundred bucks. And I read somewhere that it went down to 65. Well, when I bought it, it was 49. Plus a additional, like if you got an additional one, they jack, they uh, cut the price down further for the second one. So I got one for me and one for my girlfriend. And the one for my girlfriend ended up paying like $39. This was $49 with free shipping. And it came very fast because I ordered the three-day shipping. I'm sure if I didn't order the three-day shipping, it would have came fast anyway. But I wanted to get this as soon as possible so I could try it out. Um, one thing I'm going to warn you guys about. When I first got the unit, <coughs> I was using it pretty regularly. Like only a few minutes a day um if you are a person that has like vertigo and you get motion sickness it could be a very severe thing for you i have both it hasn't affected me in this way the only way it has affected me is even if you use it for only a couple minutes if you're just starting out you haven't you haven't never used a vr you're gonna get headaches really bad headaches particularly behind the eyes and they're gonna kill you and even like medicine will only dimmer the pain really only laying down can help soothe the pain so I would like like I 
if you're just starting out, just use it a couple times, a couple minutes, until your eyes get used to it, and then go from there. Also, make sure you're standing up, I mean standing up, make sure you're sitting up fully whenever you use it, because it could damage your eyes otherwise if you're looking at an angle, or like if you're laying down. At least that's what the instructions are pretty much telling me without telling me. So I'm I'm trying I'm listening to what it says because I have above 2020 vision and I don't want to lose that. But very nice unit for the price. Well worth the money. Like I said, very very weightless. I'll probably take this whenever I go on vacation. Um you've never experienced anything like virtual reality like there's various vi virtual reality apps that you can get for this device like there's a company or a developer on Google for the Google Play that developed a YouTube basically it's YouTube except it's in virtual reality so like you could watch I was watching Slipknot videos and it was like all 3D and virtual reality I loved it every second of it but like I said Make sure you adjust this thing before you go into extensive viewing. Like, it'll be... This will be completely closed. I recommend for most of you that you ex use these knobs and extend it the whole way until it won't go anymore. That'll help your eyes. And make sure that you adjust this little switch so that you'd be the lenses match up with your eyes perfectly otherwise you know it could hurt your eyes as well and make sure this is adjusted or you could get massive uh, headaches as well from you know from it squeezing your head so with that said putting it in that's the only thing that I've had an issue with putting it in is a bitch because once you get this open, which is just all put in by magnets, which that part I love because it makes it easy to shut and open. But once you get it open, I'm gonna try if I can see some get some light here. Um, hold on. I can fix this. I have a light, I have a warm light. Come on. Hold on guys. like the glare that it's giving. There, that might not be so bad now. Okay. Well, let's see if I get to do this better now. Anyways, this tray... Yeah, that does look a little bit better. It has these little things here. Basically, you have to use one hand to hold these open, and another hand to put your phone in. And... That's what really sucks about it, because those things are really in there. You have to really pull, pull with your fingers to hold them apart. Especially since my, uh, is my phone charged? Pretty much. Especially with this, a Note 4, Note 5s, they're pretty big phones, so you have to hold them apart pretty far to get them in there. Which really sucks, but it's whatever. Um... Anyways, one one nice key feature about this is it's got slots in both sides here. So they actually recommend that you put a head that you put your earbuds or your headphones on so you can fully ex experience the virtual reality experience. But it's not required. I usually don't put the earbuds on because my phone gets pretty loud if I turn it up the whole way. So I don't have to worry about not hearing it. But, um, one thing that is not recommended for whenever you use one of these, do not plug your phone in and charge it. The, the extensive heat that it'll get from charging while it's functioning the virtual reality apps and stuff will overheat your phone and possibly destroy your battery. And that won't be good for you, especially if you have a high-end phone like, uh, Samsung Galaxy Notes, for instance, they're pretty expensive phones, and you don't want to have to replace them. 
so and divine viewer takes no uh, responsibility for this when you get the box it'll have it'll say in the dis in the instructions that to not put the charger on there so they covered their butts so if there's if someone's stupid enough to plug it into the charger while it's running and their battery gets burnt up or whatever it's not going to be the bond viewers fault because they warned you anyways very good company uh, originally I wasn't going to order the second unit I messaged I emailed them but Divine Viewer basically, uh, I was like, you know what, screw it, because I'll, I take the extra money because the girlfriend would be, the girlfriend's worth it. So, I, it was well worth the money. Like I said, I like it a lot. But again, please observe the warnings that I've told you about this device. Otherwise, it works perfectly. Now, Google users are limited on most of their apps seem to be like uh, <laughs> um, preview apps like there's a Cedar Point app that I downloaded to those of you that don't know Cedar Point's a big a big roller coaster park in, in Ohio um, basically you get to ride a roller coaster in virtual reality and that's it, the app ends. Basically it's a preview trying to get you interested in Cedar Point to, to get on their website, order tickets and whatever to go, which now I do want to go. So, and then there's an Insidious app, which I thought was going to be the whole movie, but in fact it's just a trailer for the Insidious Chapter 3. <coughs> and, uh, anyways, and it, a, uh, trailer for Insidious Chapter 3, but you experience it in full 360 virtual reality. That's one thing that most of these viewers don't have. This viewer allows you to experience virtual reality in 360. So you can like look all the way around. When I was first uh, experimenting, I downloaded the Insidious app. <coughs> and I was standing up and I was able to like completely spin around get the whole view of like the inside of the house and everything it was pretty nice I loved it um, but yeah please take my warnings in, into consideration and stuff and right now I'm going to show you just how ex exhausting it can be trying to put your phone into this first I'm going to switch some stuff off like my Wi-Fi for instance <clears throat> Come on. There we go. That way I don't have any interruptions. So, I'm gonna lock that. <clears throat> Pretty sure, yeah, it was this way. Okay, so it's in. Now, unlock this thing. It has no basic, uh, it doesn't have this little thing that's on the side, like touch thing on the side, like the Samsung um, headset does. Basically, you're going to have to open this a couple times, maybe to get into apps, unless you get like a virtual reality launcher, which there is some on the market. Hmm. <clears throat> But the one I found, which people were highly rating, it only showed two apps on my whole screen, and I didn't like that. So, I got rid of it. So, let's see. See your point. See, this is basically, it splits your screen into two, and you adjust the screen accordingly to match up the lines, and... and all that fun stuff. So now I'm going to put this on and I'm going to show you guys what you look like with it on basically. Um, just let me find a video that I want to watch. Um,
Come on. Oh. Duh, I need a Wi-Fi. I'm sorry, guys. Can't search on YouTube without having the Wi-Fi one. Anyways, guys, <clears throat> that's basically the size of the whole virtual reality thing for your phone. Turn this off. Oh, I could have used that brighter setting earlier. Anyways, oh, actually. Anyways, guys, that was, uh, virtual reality headset. I highly recommend it. It's very awesome. Like I said, please advise the warnings that I put in this video for you. Don't, uh, you know, don't just like shake them off like they're nothing. Believe me, you won't, you will wish that you listen to me if you don't. Very good. Uh, I will put the uh, link to their website in the description box. Like I said, give them a try. They're awesome. They're, they they um, respond to your messages if you email them and ask them. And if your phone isn't listed amongst the devices that they have on their website, they're compatible. It'll show you right below. If, if your device is not listed, please email us your phone, blah, blah, blah. And we will tell you if it supports which... There's very few phones that I can imagine would not be supported in this because it, there's nothing in this that plugs into your phone. It, as long as your phone's an Android, it should work. Or an iPhone, it should work perfectly. Unless, I mean, of course your phone's too small to even get in these clips, then I don't know. But, here again, I highly recommend this device. And, well, yeah, that, this was the review of my Divine Viewer. Uh, I apologize I didn't do the first reaction unboxing, but I screwed that video up, and it, yeah, it kind of didn't get made because of the fact of, yeah. <laughs> I might include maybe clips from it at the end of this video, like maybe my first reaction glimpse or something, but the video itself wasn't that great, so I didn't publish it. But, like I said, I might include it at the end of this video, I'm not sure. Maybe pieces of it. So, anyways, guys. This is Dragon Ball Rock 86. Please like, comment, subscribe if you have any inf any uh, questions or information or anything on Virtual Reality Headset. Feel free to put it in the comment section below. I'll see you guys in the next video. Dragon Ball Rock 86, out. Thank you.
instruction manual. What's this? Two little plastic, uh, black plastic things. I don't know what those are for, but it'll show in the instructions, most likely. The uh, device. There it is. It looks really nice too. Um, without further ado, let's just get into it. Next thing I got was the actual Return of the Living Dead book. Signed. I got it hand signed by the legend himself, John Russo. Very awesome guy. Like I said, I've met him several times. The last time he was at Still City Con, I was thinking about getting the book, but I was already in, you know, the money hole pretty pretty far because he, uh, I bought that movie script from him. And, yeah, 